everyone. I'm Rudrani and welcome to Speak Easy. This is a very special edition of Zoom Speak Easy. It's 2022. It's actually the end of 2022. Today my panel is all about celebrating films that truly made the mark in 2022. My panel, of course, has some very, very talented guests. I'll go and introduce them straight away. I have, of course, Huma Qureshi. Adivi Shish and of course Mr. Anil Kapoor. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for being on time. <laughs> I was just going to say, <laughs> joining in and being on time. All of you all have been part of films that the audience has really loved and they have been celebrated. What is that one film that you thought in 2022 that you really loved as an actor? I'll start with Mr. Anil Kapoor. Mm. See, I, I, to be honest with you, I, something which comes really quickly to my mind is Ted Lasso. It's not a film, it's a show. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a show on uh, Apple, which I really loved. Yes. I really loved so that show. I. So that yeah. comes to mind. And then, of course, what I do is when I'm doing certain films, what I, I watch all the films around those films. Hmm. So, so I've, when I was doing um, Thar, hmm. so I was watching all the films, all the westerns. So I, uh, I think, saw all the westerns uh, the best Western made in the last hundred years. Then, uh, of course, I the other two films I'm doing, so I, uh, which is uh, uh, Fighter and Animal. Correct. And uh, so, uske liye bhi jitni bhi unke aspa jitni bhi film hai, mm. uh, for my reference, for just to have fun. So I keep on watching those films. So, so a lot of time is, uh, you know, uh, and then someone recommends. Correct. Yeah, film dekho, bahut zavardas film hai. Otherwise, you know, I have. To be honest with you, I feel very bad. My consumption of content has become a little lesser yes. because of my because there's so much to do besides when I started my career or before I started my career or during the initial stages of my career, my consumption was quite a bit Correct. because uh, responsibility was much more lesser. It impressed you? I saw RRR and uh, I really found it very entertaining. And I saw it in the theatre. Mm. Really, uh, it was a good film. Uh, a lot of fun and I, 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 I you know, spoke to everybody, well, I tweeted about it also. Correct. And, um, and without anybody asking me to tweet about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is always That's important. important. Yeah. Se hota hai. Yeah. Dil se. So I saw that film, I really enjoyed Then, uh, what yeah. else? This is what I comes to, I think among hmm. the you know, film, national films, I think these are the films which I really, I, I yeah. really liked. Yeah. Fantastic. What about you? I mean, the paid tweet, the remote is sitting But you also, <laughs> <laughs> but Sesh, you also wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, but not too many, is it? Uh, mm. You know, you know what, you know what, what, what's happened is, I think it's, it's a digital issue. When choices are more and more on streaming or in theaters, we don't watch anything. Mm. It's funk. Okay. Correct. Um, but uh, for me, this year was by far uh, Kantara and Triple R. Mm. Not because they're the popular choice. I remember watching Kantar in Canada. I don't speak Canada very well, but uh, I was watching it. Didn't have subtitles, <laughs> so I'm watching it. And then the madness of the last half an hour started, mm. and it broke every convention that we defined. Ki, uh, yeah, second half, there's a drop. Hai. Climax, there's mm. a raise. Hota hai. Ye hero giri, ye hai. Mm. Ye, ye wo hai. Every every piece of grammar I had about film for about Indian cinema, mm. it broke, mm. and they, they, it will inspire three or four more Kantaras that yes. then we'll start saying, Acha, isme ye second half dip hai first half. Mm. But you can't even say those things for Kantara because it is so strikingly original. Mm. Correct. And it reminded me of my village and mm. things I saw as a kid. Mm. And uh, Triple R, uh, for reasons, I think, um, of course, what Anil sir said, but um, also because I think Rajmoli sir did something uh, that a lot of people don't realize. She's taken uh, Allur Sita Ramaraji, the legendary Telugu freedom fighter, and Komaram Bhim, the legendary Telangana freedom fighter, and named both these characters after them. Mm. And because they happen to live in the same era, he's saying, what if there was a f fictional mm. friendship between mm. them? Correct. But then he's associating Sita Ramaraju with Lord Ram, mm. so people in Hindi will associate Correct. with Correct. Yeah. So Genius. there is like, so the guy in the Telugu stratosphere is going Allur Sita Ramaraju. Mm. He's going Komaram Bhim. Yes. The guy in the Hindi stratosphere is going Lord Ram. Yes. Lord Ram and Hanuman. Yes. Yeah. You know, so it's like yes. uh, that idea to take mm. such a simple idea mm. about freedom fighting mm -hmm. and making it associate 
into our history. Mythology. Both, yeah, yeah. Both, bo both sort of, uh, you know, people we pray to, or the gods we pray to, and people we worship as freedom fighters. Mm. And weave it in one story. Mm. That's ingenious. You know, I, I just thought that was really great. Absolutely. What about you, Uma? Well, I'll have to add both the films, actually. I have thoroughly enjoyed RRR, I have thoroughly enjoyed Kantara, and for uh, similar and uh, dissimilar reasons. I mean, Kantara, of course, because I feel like it talks about those heroes and, and you know, it puts them on a pedestal. Those stories that we actually don't talk about but are all around us. Correct. You know, you have to literally travel a little outside your cities and talk about, talk to people because these are local traditions that we don't make films about, you know, or we don't uh, talk about. And I felt like here's this a story of a hero and a transition, you know, which talks about the environment, it talks about some very complex issues, ki land is ka hota hai. Bilkul. Land belongs to whom? The people who live over there, the land owner, the, the government, sarkar, yeah. sarkar, who, and, and such a complex uh, issue, but told in such a simple way. And both Arvet, both RRR and I think Kantara for me, like, you know, score is the fact that they use our local traditions so beautifully with such yeah. a cinematic uh, brilliance literally uh, i want to add two more films to this that i have personally loved uh, okay. one has been gangubai of course Which one? it's gangubai ah gangubai yes absolutely even i love gangubai i love love I love gangubai yes and uh, and sorry Dishyam, i forgot about it yeah the the latest dish uh, i went i remember i was i was filming in lucknow and i went and saw it on the monday or tuesday and it was so Lovely to see a film just like people mm. standing and whistling and clapping and enjoying the second half especially and just the slow burn, right? Like yeah. you invest in the first half and then the payoff in the second. And Gangubai, of course, Sanjay sir is a genius. Oh, my top four. <laughs> Drishim was an interesting, it's a very schizophrenic experience for me because I saw the Malayalam Drishim. <laughs> yeah, and, and then I saw the Telugu Drishim. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the Hindi Drishim. <laughs> so I was like... <laughs> but when you so do that... You're comparing... Which one is okay, exactly what I said. Will you compare it? Yeah, it has to be. I, I, mean, has I, to be. I, love, I love Ajay Devgan as an actor. I've grown up mm. on his cinema. Yeah, but yeah, Mohan yeah. Lal, hands down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that both, you know, Huma and Anilja's characters, uh, Huma in Monica, oh My Darling, and of course yours in Jug Jug Jio, are characters that cannot be defined by good and bad. They're just great, right? Achai hai, burai hai. There was a time when it used to be very controversial to play such characters because actors would want to stick by playing only good ones and be really truly loved. Mm. The acceptance of both these characters, I would like your viewpoints on this, mm. has also proved that the audience truly now is just looking at interesting characters and that is an exciting time. Mm. Uh, I would like your comments from both. Huma? I think audiences have always been ready for exciting and interesting characters. Like, and again, I know because he started this, uh, this discussion about like yeah. going back to Indian mythology. Like for me, the most interesting character in the Mahabharata is Karan. And I feel like for me, Monica is just a hero, like anybody else. And she wants the best for herself, like any hustler. other guy. She's a hustler. She's James Bond in a red dress, like I keep saying. Like, I love you know, that. like if James Bond James is going Bond around seducing her. women mm -hmm. to get what he wants, she's doing the same thing. Um, you know, with a license to kill. <laughs> Did you have a vodka martini? So, uh, no, <laughs> but it was, it was stirred, not shaken. For this fast. So yeah, and I think, uh, I think sometimes we maybe like think that our audiences, like we want to dumb down content for them, but mm. actually, shuru se, uh, people, I mean, if you go back to our films also, like Guru Dutt Sahib has been making like really cool, like when I saw Pyasa for the first time, I was like, what? Like what happened in the middle? Like why did we try and think that audiences had become dumber? And we were dumbing down films to uh, for, and spoon feeding them. People love complex subjects. So we have to just, I don't know, just enjoy this as, as viewers, as actors and, and not be afraid to take, uh, you know, those chances. You know, I, I know you said that, but I just want to say it. That while I love Piazza, it never got its due at that time. It huh? only but, was. But I. But, but, I, I, but, 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 but even did. today, it but didn't even today, that's a film we remember. And there's so many films that Correct, but it's so time for me. Like in the time that he really wanted yeah. to make it, I don't Correct. think it got its due, yeah. right? But that's a, there's, a, there's so, a lesson over there, right? There's a lesson over there. Lesson over there. 100%. Lesson over there. Like, and history keeps repeating if you don't learn those lessons. 100%. 100%. Of course. Anilji, please. It all depends on the writers and filmmakers what they offer you. So you should be ready for everything. And I am ready to accept everything. Uh, if it is uh, complex, if the director and filmmaker feels that I can put it off, and if I like my, uh, if I like the script and if all the tick boxes are ticked, mm. and for me to say yes to that, uh, uh, you know, journey to happen, then I say yes. And there's, there are times when 
uh, it becomes more difficult to play a very very straight good man very tricky and because you know that somewhere uh, the, uh, the the trade the audience and sometimes even the critics will not look at you very favorably when they go and watch your films but you go with your gut and you do that film like for example i did a good man hmm. in bo sat din i played a very very straight simple man in ishwar i did mr india i did beta i did but judai correct uh, you know and no, there are times good time. huh good 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 but yeah, yeah he's a good one yeah 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 you know so what happens is sometimes uh, there are times when someone else does the other character and there are times when uh, the that other character gets more recognition and is written about more mm. because that becomes little more you know attractive Hmm. in terms of uh, uh, even in performing it and even when the review is you know person is reviewing the Correct. film also he somewhere finds it much more interesting and exciting but sometimes to play a very good man is much more difficult you think so yeah it's much more difficult because there is so much of ke yaar ye log ye nahi samjhe ke yaar boring aadmi hai ye hmm. hmm. one dimensional one dimensional is he weak you know they might be thinking is why is he playing a he's a hero so why is he playing this guy who's you know who's weak but actually he's not weak he's just a good man he's a selfless person correct is a marathon mm. so sometimes you should not miss out on a good filmmaker and a good script and a good co-star where the co-star sometimes has a better role mm-hmm. and uh, to certain extent sometimes mm-hmm. there's a filmmaker who wants you for that film and because you feel that this role might not be uh, you know will not get that kind of appreciation then you miss out on working on the filmmaker so i've been very uh, you know far sighted to certain extent in thinking aaj nahi to kal log mujhe is role mein pasand karenge and somewhere i feel these are the roles which will stay forever and ever in the hearts of the people mm. and if you see all the big stars all over the world they have become major very very big stars and remain very very big stars mm. playing these kind of characters and then of course it's exciting to play a bad guy it's exciting to play mm. uh, you know i'm like for example my next show i'm playing the description of the character that is the worst man in the world <laughs> <laughs> love that i was like you know, you know he's, 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 he's the worst man in the world mm. wow and there is no i have never met a worst man but i met a good me good people mm. the worst man in the world how do i know how, who's the worst man in the world? i don't connect with them i'm not i don't meet him in real life mm. who's a arms supplier or you read about it mm. so yeah. otherwise i would have, like even slumdog millionaire was a great character yeah to unko samajh nahi aa raha tha ki yaar ye acha aadmi hai ya bura aadmi hai baad mein pata chalta hai ye bura aadmi hai bilkul and people said they just hate you know in international so who's this bad guy those i said we hate you we hate you <laughs> i said I said, "Why did you do that to that boy?" You know, I, said, I said, "That's my role. Yeah, that's my character." So, so that becomes your, you know. Uh, yeah. And so I was like, "Thank you, thank you." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've done it. So I've done what I want. Mic drop. When I heard the script of Jumbo Vijay, obviously, uh, uh, somewhere I just felt little when I was hearing it. Thoda tha. Uh, so you know, as an actor, also then how you play it, yeah, and how you interpret it also, and add that little. uh things little layers to it to make it a little more in spite of being gray and bad correct mm. you make it that people don't start hating uh, pure human and uh, nahi repulsed uh, repulsed ah. so, you know there are times when you do something and you go to that extent you don't know how to the, the filmmaker is not there to guide you correct. but sometimes if he is not there then you should be sensible enough to guide yourself in such a way that it should not be repulsive it should be people should be able to connect with it and because you have to have some empathy with that person also mm-hmm. when you when you perform that role mm-hmm. so that's what i try to do and uh, when i see but that's a I'm, personal charm also sir sorry wo to aapka personal charm bhi hai wo to aap koi bhi character play karoge wo aa jayega no, uh, personal charm hai but there is a lot of thought which goes it, mm-hmm. it cannot it cannot just come yeah. with the personal charm you know mm-hmm. you have to uh, have a back story 
uh, you have to think about it, you have to work towards it, mm -hmm. you have to rehearse, you have to prep for it, you have to go through a lot of research, references. You know, I say, yes, why is this It's a brilliant actor. He's a great actor. Hai. Mm -hmm. But why is the reason he's not been able to connect with the people yet? You know? Correct. So then there is a certain blessing of the Almighty and uh, and you don't know what it is. What's it's the, the characters. Sometimes you're very lucky to get those characters. And the character characters go into the hearts of the people. And you feel, and people, sometimes the actors misunderstand, they don't like me. Actually, they don't like you so much as the characters don't like you. Then they start repeating the same thing again and again. This happens to a lot of actors. So that's the one of the reasons that they feel people get bored. Mm, absolutely. So it's because mm. it's the characters yeah. which the writer and the director and you're fortunate they've written it so beautifully. Mm. Yeah. Yes. You go and perform and they become lovable. It's very right time probably to get in uh, the question for Major. Now when you're playing a biopic, and I remember when we had spoken about this before as well, when you're playing a biopic, you obviously have to tread that territory very carefully because it's also a homage to the person in, in particular and in your case, and it was such a great man, right? Um, yet, in your story, besides the heroics, which is all there, great action, everything, you did take the portion which sort of might seem a little dicey when it comes to his relationship with his wife to make him more human. I feel like, what, why was that important for you? We're talking about not playing straight good man. I think, I think w w see, w in fact, such bola jai to unke jo personal life hai, there's a bit more darkness in real life than there was in the film. And hmm. we cut a little bit of it in an effort to protect identities of certain people. Correct. And also sort of, see, when a, when a national hero uh, sort of gives his life for the country, so if anybody does wrong to him in his life story, yeah. that person by the audience becomes instantly revived. So it was very important that we hmm. soften that. Hmm. But then we find some speck of truth. Um, you know, yeah. Uh, it's interesting Huma said uh, Karna because uh, I always felt uh, Sandeep Unibishnan sir is Karna. Mm. Um, in, really? In even in yeah, our interview you had I said, said, I said he's Surya Putra, you know. Mm. Um, uh, he, he walked around with the glow of the sun. He's excellent at what he did. Fantastic warrior and extremely flawed on certain things. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's what makes makes anybody yeah. human, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I just thought that he shared a lot of similarities with Karna and um, I think that sort of, I wouldn't say fatalistic, but that almost serendipitous, I'm going to go, hmm. is something he had about him as well. I remember him saying to Amma, Dhanlakshmi Amma, Correct. that, uh, Amma, you know, I, I think I should have kids soon because I'm going to go and then you're going to have to take care of me. Hmm. So he would say things like that and not because he wished it, because he was very high on life and he loved life. But he had that sort of serendipitous tryst with destiny kind of angle to his life and he often said things like that to his parents, to his friends, to his serving officers. So uh, we made sure that we found some speck of truth in each of those things and we brought it in. Um, as far as the personal life was concerned, uh, we definitely uh, sort of really were careful about making sure audiences didn't hate the person, the, make him a villain out of the other yeah, people. Yeah, uh, because mm. if, if that happens, then we lose the essence of the film. Now, in making a sort of semi-hagiography, semi-homage, we also have to go with the idea of, okay, this is popular cinema. Mm. I'm not interested in making this film uh, for a streaming service. Mm. This is a big screen theatrical, big budget South Indian film that's being made in Hindi in Hyderabad. Correct. Mm. So, uh, you know, we, we, it was very important for us that we say, okay, it's not, it's not Kanjiwaram, it's not Kukatpalli, it's mm. not Kakinada, it has to be Kashmir, it has to be Kanyakumar, mm. it has to be Kansas. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, mm. we did stretch the heroics of the situation a bit. <laughs> I'll be honest with that. Sure, of course. But we never tried to go to the point that we're forgetting who we're making the film about. Mm. Congratulations for Hit 2 also. You, I wouldn't say single-handedly, of course a lot of people were involved in it, but Mahesh Babu also of course championed for the film. But you did sort of do every bit necessary to make this work. And at that time it was very important for you for the film to work in the theatres as well. I remember seeing you said and you were really closely watching every single day ki kya opening hone wali hai. Yeah. 
does this frightening in a way to not to not being able to sort of to put your focus there saying ki maine film bana di and then i there are actors who sort of say man i have done my best i move on but i know with this film i could see even that day you were at it you were like i am invested so much i have to make this work is is that not Vicky scary you were saying you were saying that Vicky Kaushal was saying that once he's done he's done correct mm. exactly he mm. loves the process and the journey but he's not connected to the result you know my twitter bio says anxious extraordinary <laughs> <laughs> so i am that guy but i'm not a so what did you do exactly <laughs> um, i don't know i'm not aware of it what did you do for uh, uh, for major so what we did was you know we knew that my base in telugu would watch it but why is why does a guy in kanpur have to watch it you know it's also mm. the name sandipuni krishnan what makes him want to go mm. it's not it's not vikram batra for example mm. so we we did 20 screenings we teamed up with uh, book my show and we actually had allowed people to book tickets online mm. two weeks before the release yeah. of the film mm. yeah mm. so you're fighting anything from bad reviews to piracy yeah they did that you're putting it out two weeks before two weeks where uh throughout the country one show here one show there it's almost like a tour like yeah. a like a rock band so the entire film team would uh you know put the show on book my show it gets sold out within minutes and people would come mm. and we would have secret cameras recording their reactions um and nothing was curated if people were going to hate hate mm. it they were going to hate it if people were going to love it they're going to love it mm-hmm. so we took those so reactions people bought the tickets yeah and uh we we did free screenings and we did a few screenings where they were paid um when we got the where you do the screenings with you paid uh it, telugu theaters uh, more in south india more in south india yeah mm. so uh once we got those reactions those became the trailer of the film mm-hmm. <laughs> it wasn't the trailer nice that part. went as mm. well it wasn't the songs that mm. went as well mm. it was the reactions of people and what they were genuinely saying mm-hmm. that sort of changed the, mm. um, you know and so that's what you see internationally what they do is exactly the same thing Test so screens. they, huh? Sorry. Test screens. Yes, test screens. Mm. Lots of screens, but they put, you know, certain films which, the the distributors which are very big in this is uh, Fox Searchlight, mm. and there is Sony Classic, so that's what they do. And there are certain films they, you know, like they 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 release only in cities like New York. Yeah. Mm. They'll have only two three screens, and some one or two screens here and there, and then they keep on adding screens, and then the actors go to the screen and all. and uh, th- that there is a science to that also which people sometimes don't understand they, but you have to risk it you know yeah. it's a huge and uh, huge and then you have the festivals mm. so why people go to the festivals with these kind of films is the reason they go to the festivals is because it gets a certain kind of exposure certain kind of mileage certain kind of uh, publicity if the film is good mm. then they put it when they have those reviews from the festivals mm. and uh, they do the red carpet and the actors and the films and they, if they, if it wins an award terrific absolutely mm. so then it you know becomes if you have to hit it worldwide so that is the reason sometimes for certain films the the festival circuit is a very important yeah. circuit for it, for the pe- for the people to recognize and to for the film to be known because marketing is such an expensive tool that every film cannot afford to do that kind of marketing that kind of money cannot be spent yeah. i think our challenge also became that you know we weren't like an art house film Mm. If you are an art house film you can actually you know, go to the festival. You know but there are certain films which are to certain certain festivals which like Toronto Film Festival is not a art house. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You know there are so many other festivals yeah, which Mission Impossible one of the Mission Impossible yes, films. Yeah, in Toronto. <laughs> in Cannes. Yeah. Cannes. Yeah. 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 Cannes also. Cannes also. Yeah. Yeah. You see what happens yeah. sometimes It was quite cool actually. Yeah, sometimes what happens is it was top gun I think. Yeah. 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 Sometimes what happens is the filmmaker itself is becomes uh the darling of the uh of the of the festivals and there are certain films which just you know they just you know they just fly just you know, the films you know just they just yeah. fly you don't know where it's going to fly and then you know you always dream and you always want and you always wish you should be attached to that kind of <laughs> yeah. film which flies so, so some of our uh, south indian films they get dubbed into hindi with lots of cheesy titles mm-hmm. correct correct yeah we took great care in picking the title gudachari which was one of my films it means spy but it's a very ancient way of yeah. saying it so yeah. it got dubbed into hindi as intelligent khiladi yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> so, so, this was before uh, major yeah, before, before. So intelligent i khiladi. i was it was interesting to meet people in places like hoshiarpur where they're like mm. intelligent khiladi ki nayi film aayi aap kon hai intelligent khiladi <laughs> mera mera ulta tha when i started my career so i was doing mani ratnam's film his first friend pallavi anupam pallavi anupam so my little conflict happened 
And I said, when I signed the contract, I said, my film will not be dubbed in Hindi. Oh. I said, no matter what happens, it's not going to be dubbed in Hindi. So it's in my contract. Why so they were that? upset. Because I feel this film, I don't want it to be in Hindi. My Hindi film, I wanted something else to be. So I was crazy, I was more confident. I was, nobody knew me in Hindi at that time. I had no work, but I said, no. One day I'll become a star in Hindi. <laughs> wow. So I have in so my show. So you have Telugu films too? Yes, we are doing it. My first film was a Telugu film. Yeah, yeah. We, so we think of you as a... Telugu. So what happened is... They, hey, don't take him away from us. <laughs> so I, I, I did the Telugu film and because of that Telugu film, I got the Karana film. <laughs> but because Telugu <laughs> film was dubbed, so I said, I won't dub this Karana. I'm going to start a hashtag. Anil Kapoor is our. That's true. You care. But how dare work. you? <laughs> Not happening. Not happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are all here. But you know, on that note... I think we are Indian. Of course. Yeah, it's a joke. No, he knows that. He started it. He started it. I'm clickbaiting Uma for that. I know. I'm not going to fall into that trap. You'll have the hashtag. You'll have the hashtag. I'm a fan India actress. We are all very essential not to get into. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know. Absolutely. I'm giving information. Of course. Of course. Uma Qureshi says. You see my friend Valamai, by the way. Soft plug-in. <laughs> That's true. Mm. But, you know, we, we're talking also about the heroics and, you know, we've just, you were just mentioning about the biggest superstars who, you know, sometimes become larger than the film and then they become the darling <coughs> of everything. A lot of female actors have often said that, you know, we miss the fact that we don't get, like, these heroic entries. Mm. Like, you know, heroes get, like, Aramba Tapsi had once said that I said that I said that I will come, there's a bomb blast happening behind and I want to come and walk untouched. in slow-mo. And I want to come and walk in slow-mo. Walk in slow-mo because I'm like, I have to do it, we hardly get such things. What do you think of this? Like, do you think there should be more heroic entries or do you think like, have you ever thought of this? You know, you of course, Honorable CMG, you have played. I think somewhere there is this, even in Monica, both of them have that little quality. That have been always, I mean, given to a lot of male characters, that ownership of you know, that rock star feeling. Mm. I mean, you can look at her that way, right? Mm. So, on that as well. I don't know how to answer that. Uh, see, I my sensibilities, I grew up in the, I mean, I'm a 90s kid. So, yeah. I grew up with all the 90s cinema as my popular culture references and loving them and wanting to be a, and, and hence, wanting to be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like basically, yeah. Shah Rukh Khan, you know, being everyone's like uh, icon. Uh, and then I came in and then I debuted in a film called Gangs of Asipur, which was a film that nobody knew what was going to happen. Yeah. And in that sense, it was that outlier for me at least as my first film. Because the first time I saw that film yeah. was at the Cannes Film Festival. That's your first movie? My first film, yeah. 2012. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, and I watched and she, that film. And it was in Cannes. And, and I had no idea. Like, I saw him that I was like, who's the scene? <laughs> I don't know it was your first film. Here is my first film. So and don't watch my first film. <laughs> <laughs> I will now. I will Google Arisa, and find out. Do, can they watch your first film? My first film. Telugu film. Oh, Telugu. Oh, Telugu. I've seen. No, no, Telugu was not my first film. First film. film. Then? My first film, film was Hamare Tumare. Achha. I did a bit role in that. And then I did Ek Bar Kaho, which was again in Hamare Tumare, 11 children. I was one of those kids. Hmm. In, uh, in uh, Ek Bar Kaho, there were two heroes. Hmm. And I was the, f and the a younger hero had about six, seven friends. I was one of the friends in Ek Bar Kaho. So I started with, you know, these bit roles. And hmm. then... Uh, after that, then I did uh, uh, bit role in Shakti. Then I did Sadmame Satyu Us Kaha Kaha Se Guzar Gaya, which was shot in Calcutta. Then I did Vamsaraksham uh, in Telugu. Then I did Kannada film. Then in two Hindi films I did, one got shelved and one was released much later. Uh -huh. And then came Bhusadhan. Uh -huh. So I had oh. done my from 77 to 82 wow. was the patch where I was, you know, Five years of it. Five years yeah. to, you know, to reach to that kind wow, of situation wow, where wow. I could get a, a film which gave me uh, recognition. So mm. nobody remembers the 77 to 82. They remember me from 83, mm. you know. So I went through my... So these are my films. So right. if you right. want to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I'm going to, I want to hear your answer yeah. definitely. But because you said that and he said like, Mere pehle film mat dekho. Are you embarrassed of him? Because I don't see that. Are you embarrassed of any film that you've done saying, Are yaar, I hope like y'all don't watch it. Is there any film no, like that that you've you done ever? Is, what happens is, you know, you, 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 obviously you get embarrassed because your sensibilities have changed. Of course. Uh, your, uh, you know, the way of, uh, you, you know, you've, you, you, you know, the... 
I said, why am I doing like this? Why am I looking like that? You know, it was certain extent. What was I thinking when I was wearing this? <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I could, I could have done this, I could have done that. And of course, there are times when, uh, you know, you're starting your career, you're nervous, you're anxious, uh, you're trying a little more harder than what you should. You're not that effortless mm. as you want to be. So these are the things, and obviously, you know, you come from a background where there are, there are no actors in your family. You're the first actor in the family, uh, you know, and uh, you, you don't come from a literary background. Yeah. Uh, you don't come from a background which is artistic. And, you know, so there is, so all these things make a lot of difference. You see, when you come from a background, that also really helps. So, uh, there are certain things, of course, I am, uh, but uh, <coughs> fortunately for me, I think uh, God was kind and luck favoured me that my first film really, people really saw was Wo Satin. These yeah. films were so insignificant and so, and that, that always, I say, becomes an advantage <coughs> when you are an outsider, mm. you know, because I was an outsider at that time and uh, people, your films come and go, people don't really mm. uh, judge you, doesn't get school judge you, nice. but mm. when yeah. You, yeah. it becomes more tricky for people who are known, yeah. it might be a son <coughs> or a brother or a sister or anybody, and then, you know, it becomes more tricky because people are judging you according to, yeah. uh, you know, so now I have a picture of someone who doesn't have any film, how many films have come from here, you know, mm. you understand, nobody really bothered. So, so, I mean, that way, the advantages were there. And uh, I was lucky that uh, I got this, you know, content written by, again, the South filmmaker, uh, K. Bhagiraj, who wrote a beautiful story. As I always say, Bhagiraj, sir, K., yeah. uh, you know, people talk about the films and the content and all. It's always been there. This is many, many years. They've always written great stories, great scripts, good films have always been made since the last uh, 60 years. You know, there was S.S. Vasan, there was Gemini, Gemini there was Shivaji Ganesh, and, you know, all these great N.T. Ramara and great filmmakers like Bapu Sahib, K. Vishwanath, K. Balchandar, who were far, very brilliant filmmakers and made some terrific films, you know, and uh, the films were dubbed, like Ramar Sham is a dubbed film, you know, it's a film which was made in Telugu, Tamil and then Ram, it was made Ramudu here. Ramudu is Ramar Sham. Ram, 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 yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, was, you know, was a big success in, uh, mm. you know, the other languages and then it was made in Hindi, so. So, Ramudu Bhimudu became Ramar Sham mm. and then they made Sita or Gita, which is like a, Hindi free make of Ramar Sham. And Kirshan Ganeya. Yeah. And, and, and Jalbas. And we yeah. remade it as Ganga, Ganga Manga. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, this is the original idea anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, there are certain films which I'm very, I'm, you know, I said, I'm not embarrassed, but I, I feel I could have done better. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I could have done better or, as I said, how did I do this? Why did I do this? Uma, going back to you. To, I mean, to sort of take off from what he was saying that, I mean, I also thought I was doing a bit part, you know, mm. to be honest, in Gangs of Vasipur. But Gangs of Because it's like, no, but see, today... <laughs> no, no, I know you're doing listen, a bit part. Listen, part. hear me out, guys. You're not listening. No, you're letting me talk. But you are You men are not letting me talk. <laughs> no, no, but you were terrific. I didn't praise you. You were terrific in that. <laughs> no, thank you, thank you. But I'm saying in hindsight, you know, you have no, to I'm understand. I'm not saying that you didn't have a small part or big part, I'm saying you were fantastic. No, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I, I, I feel like in hindsight, of course, like it's a great film and it's a film I'm very proud of. I just lucked out, I think. I just came with my bag to Bombay from Delhi and I uh, I did. I was just going from one studio to the other, auditioning like any other struggler would, till I did an ad and that's how I met Anurag and then he offered me Gangs of Us. That, that's, that's the story. Mm. So I thought this is, he's making a two-part, at that time he was making a three-part uh, yeah. film. With 400 actors, everyone's a newcomer. Our biggest star was Manoj Bajpayee, you know. So I didn't know what was happening. Mm. I I had come to Mumbai with the mindset, okay, I want to do one film because you know I wanted to. Mm. I was doing theatre and I was like, okay, you know, I, I just want to be part of one film and see myself on screen just to prove to my like dad or myself that you know I can actually do it because I was the only one again. Didn't come from a literary background, business family. There was no actor, nobody yeah. to be like, um, you know, that was sort of like a. a reference point for me so I was just alone trying to trying to do that so I didn't know how the film was going to pan out like I didn't even know I was the the lead of the film because we were all treated the same way nobody told me I was going to get launched when I saw my holding first time at this Bandra Band area with Nawaz I was like what 
because I knew they took some pictures, but I didn't know because you know what I mean. I didn't have a staff, I didn't have a team, I didn't get styled for that film. I was like, I am the lead of the film. They paid me. If I tell you how much they paid me, you laugh. It was like really, really bad. They paid me seventy thousand rupees for that film. For <laughs> <laughs> gangs of us, for. Yeah. I saw that's a lot of money. <laughs> Do you remember how much you got for the first film? Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, seventy thousand. Seventy thousand bucks. Two thousand twelve uh, exploitation. <laughs> two and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand. Yeah. 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 Two and a half thousand. And but for my first inflation. appearance, <laughs> I got two hundred fifty rupees. For my first appearance on Doordarshan, then um, I got two and a half thousand for uh, the Rashree film, which I did take back. Mm. So two and a half thousand, four thousand, five thousand, actually four thousand. So seven thousand. My inflation. first job in Bombay before that was an ad. At Amit Sharma, the director, he directed. I was acting with Abhishek Bachchan. My mm. first ad ever mm. for a mobile. And I'm sure they had very big budgets, but because I was like a newbie and like I just want to get land a job, paid me five grand for it. Five grand. I, yeah. Five grand. I, I still till date tell Amit Sharma, you know, you are poor kids' money. You are poor. And then I kept calling, saying, "Give me my check. Give me. They like, yeah, next week. So I said, sir, I will give you ten thousand rupees. I just want that check because it's my first kamai. This is a story for a lot of actors who come from the outside in India. Yeah. So it just. I, I I'm always a little bit envious of that innocence because I was just some kid in the US I saved up money on my credit card mm. and I kind of borrowed money from friends and put together my first film so you know I was paying for my <laughs> <laughs> No no but I tell you what Oh you missing money like, back so see I have a, I have a story <laughs> I found a producer financer <laughs> So I was like no it was literally I I borrowed yeah, like $20,000 yeah. from my parents oh. and maxed out my credit cards and went to friends like thoda paise de de yaar 100000 dollars made a film together yeah it's called karma it's on hot start and you know it has every mistake possible <laughs> <laughs> nice nice like this awkward like uh, you know <laughs> what so, fun and in this era obviously all the glaring mistakes are there for you yeah, to watch yeah forever for posterity <laughs> you can watch forever. us forever and everyone ever cares. and ever everyone notices yep 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 so now what happened Then what happened after I got I did the film? Uh, so yeah, so I mean, like I said, now like I was just doing. I mean, I didn't know what the fate of Gangs of Wasipur was going to be. Of course, it read, was got selected. Can it got the acclaim? It got the box office success. So um, now, of course, like if it's taken ten years. I mean, in 2012, that film released for me to now finally land a Maharani, or for me uh, now to finally land a Monica, and it's not been an easy journey. It's been. Uh, you know, I feel at every step of the way, I've had to constantly prove myself that you know, no, I I deserve the fact that I can actually lead films on my own, and, it, and this is a big responsibility. Correct. But it's it's taken a long time coming. The way I look at it, uh, do I want to do these big films on me that I'm mounted when I'm doing the slow mo walk and you know the heroic stuff? Absolutely. But you know, it's not a it's not a uh, fair playing field. Uh, you know, and I think uh, the fact of the matter is that. If I am to say, suppose, do an action film, and another male actor who's at the same level or the same number of films or the box office success that I've had, you know, because I've also had my share of like uh, successful films, would both to mount a film, he would possibly get a bigger budget to do those things. Yeah. So it's just a pure question sometimes, and it's unfortunate, but yeah. see, it is, it exists, and one has to call it out constantly. It doesn't mean that I'm upset or sad or I'm going to mm. give it up or whatever. But in fact, I think it motivates me to work harder. Yeah. uh but it's and it's not just a question of our industry i think it's just how the world functions in general sure so i am not going to like cry about it or flame my hands about it i'm just going to get up and just work harder and that's the only response one has uh whenever you feel there's something that you want to happen but uh, that's why i said but your characters do have that quality in them a little bit in that grassroots level you know what i mean yeah i am so very fear. fortunate I, i get to work with directors like vasan bala with shriram raghavan with anurag kashyap you know honestly for a kid who came from nowhere mm. i've actually have i've worked with some of the best directors in the world and uh, absolutely uh, you know i remember this really low time i had in my career and i was like you know this is not working out i want to maybe try and go beat some people yeah. in the us and i i landed in leela or i landed in zack snyder it's a small part but for me it was like a big at that point in time when you're not having a good phase mm. in your career then so even an opportunity like that i guess gives you confidence in yourself yeah uh, you know and and it's so coincidental that that army of the dead and maharani came out the same year and everyone was just talking about maharani like a show which i mean again like nobody believed in uh, and it was just 
like an outlier again. So I think, uh, I mean, for me at least, the learning from all these experiences has been that I have to try and do those parts that nobody else will do. Yeah. You know, I think I have to be that actor. I mean, I, I shouldn't try and like fit myself into any mold yeah. because I don't know. I just maybe I'm not meant for those things. People always say, and people who do comedy very well see that comedy is the most difficult genre. You had some. Epic comedic roles. मतलब आपके ऐसे कुछ characters हैं जो people watch in the road and they'll be like, oh, you know, I know dialogues of that. Air, I want to know what has been your one role, comedic role, that you truly love, and why? I think it's the people I work with. Okay. For me, that's very important, and the journey has to be good. I can talk about my journeys, you know, which have been my happy journeys, doing those comedic roles where uh, good atmosphere on the set also makes a lot of difference. The co-stars you're working with. Uh, you know, from Bo Sadin was my first film where a lot of comedy scenes were there with Padmini and Masha Raju and Bapu Sa was terrific in comedy because he is the one who really introduced me to introduced me to Buster Keaton and Marx Brothers and uh, all the great. So I saw a lot of. I used to always watch Lauren Hardy and Charlie Chaplin, but there were such such great comedians which I, had, I was not exposed to. Then he exposed me to those uh, great uh, you know comic characters and comic actors. Who were very poker, but still very very funny. A few comic scenes which are there in Mashal and uh, in Mr. India, of course. The you know 60, 70 percent was you know the cockroach scene and yeah. you know there's only funny scenes. Uh, and then I was very lucky. K. Vishwanath did. Ishwar was I play were mentally challenged. Uh, you know, but very there were a lot of funny scenes in that film. You know, so I'm very fortunate that I worked with great filmmakers who had a certain. Understanding of what comedy is. The earlier comic films, that famous mirror scene, actually was done by Dilip Kumar, which was done again by Amitabh Bachchan and Amar Varanthi. But actually, it's from Kohinoor. This the scene is from Kohinoor, which was done and it was completely replicated in Amar Varanthi. Amitabh did a phenomenal job. But you have to see that the inspiration is from Kohinoor. So I have been an encyclopedia of uh, old Hindi films uh, and international. Films of these comic actors, mm. so they kind of made a foundation. And after that, then I used that experience from the director. What I learned, the comic timing, being poker, and uh, and doing more situations. Then I worked with Rishi Ka Rishikesh Mukherjee. So I had an Amazing. opportunity to work with Rishikesh Mukherjee. I had an opportunity to work with Basu Chatterjee. You know, mm. so Chameli ki shadi. So mm. you know, which was there was nothing. We're not doing comedy. We're just being ourselves, <laughs> but just doing the character and just being. Very yeah. normal and speaking the lines because that's what he thought. No, no, normally, bolo comedy करने का ज़रूरत नहीं है. I love it. You know, you're, 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 you know, yeah. I said, I said, and then Rishi Kesh, Rishi Dawa was a kind of a director who would say, no, no, ये तुम्हारा shot हो गया वो back से था ना अभी front में करने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. He was so clear. He was so clear in his edit that I didn't have to do the whole shot. No, no, इतना ही दो line ही बोलो पीछे से तुम्हारा वो उसपे जाने वाला है. <laughs> so you know that was the clarity these filmmakers had. So I was very fortunate in the later years. Then I did a lot of films, and I'm still doing with Anish Bajmi, correct, of uh, course, who's who's a phenomenal writer himself. Where I did No Entry, Welcome, you know, yeah. And then of course now I did Jug Jug Jio, where there are some real good comic scenes. Raj Mehta also has got a good flair. Priya Darshan has got a good flair for comic, yeah. comic. Just like actor ka hota na, director ka bhi hota. Bilkul. Director mein bhi isko ya to wo comedy scene kar sakta hai. ये एडिटर एडिट कर सकता है एक्टर कर सकता है वो आप सिखा नहीं सकते उसको यू कैन टीच एनी बडी कॉमेडी तो क्या अगर सीरियस में ड्रामेटिक में थोड़ा ये होता है लो एंगल लगाओ थोड़ा लाल पीला लाइट डालो आँख में आंसू डालो वो फिर भी हो सकता है कॉमेडी में यू हैव इट यू डोंट हैव इट यू नो इट्स दैट दैट द गॉड गिव इन फेस एंड दैट टाइमिंग ऑफ द लाइन एंड दैट द ताल यू नो करेक्ट टाइम पे वो डायलॉग बोलना करेक्ट टाइम पे Just be poker, correct time, but not react, correct yeah. time. Give the reactions, which are very seriously thought about. Yeah. Mm. And then you give those kind of reactions because, the, but there's a lot of uh, you have to think a lot to give. So it becomes a quite a serious situation, a business. Sometimes I try to create a discipline on the set. Mm. You know, trying to create a certain kind of uh, uh, you know people sometimes. Uh, You need a certain kind of concentration. So everybody is there is a, the the noise pollution over here is quite a bit. <laughs> so sometimes you need that uh, that concentration. So being some in a way spending so much of time in mm. this business. So I am slightly whenever I go on a set, 
There are times when I meet someone, I said, you know, I'm working with you for the first time. I said, yeah, thank you so much. I really enjoy working with you. I said, thank you. Said, My father worked with you, you know. <laughs> and, uh, my, no, my grandfather now is gone and living in the village, but he has also worked with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, working with, you know, so, being, so to a certain extent, I sometimes I do try to mm. create that. Uh, so I sometimes more for effect, mm. so that everybody gets little serious, uh, serious about what's happening. And leaves you alone, most importantly. Yes, sometimes sir. it's like so much chatter around, chatter. you just yeah, don't want it. You know, like, yeah. And it's not loud, it's not so action. Or, why? Sometimes you have to shout sometimes because they don't understand. Can you sort of choose a, a role or a character that you've done in your till now that you would say that I, I, I couldn't sort of get that experience again? Uh, I think Big Shanam. Big Shanam, uh. my sort of breakout film. Um, Why would you say that? Uh, it, it was remade in Hindi as Bagi 2. Correct. Um, which happens to be a huge success here too. But um, I think it was because of the limitations we had. We made that film in one crore. Um, you know, uh, I remember <laughs> we're shooting outside Alwajan's house. And Alwajan said, like, bro, what are you doing here? Like, I'm like, yeah, we didn't have permission, so we're just shooting a fight scene. In front of the house. <laughs> I figured you wouldn't like report Mind me it. to the cops. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. So, so a lot of innocence attached. Um, it was one of those situations where I remember this production executive once came to say, came to me and said, your ADs are having too many rotis. You know, make sure you talk to them. So it was like wow. very very tight. You know, we were very careful about when we would have the trolley for the film. Hmm. Uh, we only had trolley for two days for the film. So it was, it was just one of those very, very indie things and then it just broke out. It was massive and I don't think I've ever been that innocent after that. <laughs> that was that first polished work that just, it hit. Mm. And it's still considered by a lot of my fans as my best film. Absolutely, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much first of all for being part of this. And uh, once again, I am an avid admirer of all of your work. And I hope that you continue doing films like this and keep entertaining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Shesh's birthday. Yeah. Oh, so happy I just birthday. want to do a small cake cutting oh, with please, you, please, please. if you don't mind. Oh, Why should just we mind? a little bit. <laughs> I, I, you've grown, I know. Yeah. This is our ch ch childhood aspiration. <laughs> 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 Nobody has enjoyed, you know. Others cake or cutting. someone, you cutting your own. Can we get the cake, please? please? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sanjeev. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for watching our Zoom Speakeasy panel discussion of 2022 where we celebrated the best films of 2022, the finest actors and performances that you have loved. And I hope that you keep watching Zoom. This is the end of 2022. So very happy new year and I hope you have a great year ahead. This is me, Rajwani, signing off. <laughs>